Welcome back everybody to Santa Fe Fast Week's YouTube channel. If we haven't met, my name is Stephen Cuomo. I'm the executive producer of Santa Fe Fashion Week. And I want to take a moment to thank everybody who has subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done so, please do. And so I wanted to make this announcement. I've been working on this project for quite some time now. It's called Fashion Behind the Curtain. And I just want to give you a little bit of background on what I've done in the fashion industry. So I've been producing fashion events for about 10 years now, in uh, New, mostly in New Mexico, uh, Albuquerque, and then Santa Fe. And so early on, about 11 years ago, I was doing what I call film and fashion industry nights. And I was doing fashion shows at local nightclubs, if you know them. Uh, one up Elevated Lounge, Imbibe, um, the Cooperage, which actually is a, is a steakhouse. And that, after three years, morphed into Santa Fe Fashion Week. And so I produced Santa Fe Fashion Week at the Buffalo Thunder Casino, um, one up, um, the Drury Plaza, and the Santa Fe Convention Center. And I've been doing that for, like I said, about eight years now, and I've had the opportunity to also um, judge some different fashion events in different, in different cities. And so by traveling around and going to these different fashion events, I've had the opportunity to obviously run an event and then also be in the audience. And to me, um, being in back of the house producing a show, there's a lot more excitement, I think, being in back of the house um, than sitting out front. I mean, although you get to enjoy a lot of designers' um, collections if you will and, and the models walking up and down and I know the models love walking the runway again I think the excitement is back of the house and you see um, Meow Wolf which is here in New Mexico is an immersive um, art, art experience if you will and they've expanded to Las Vegas and in uh, I think Colorado and so there's this real I think desire to see what that looks like like the back of the house and also I've worked on some on movies here in New Mexico and you know Working, working in the movie industry and creating, creating the project and then sitting in the theater and watching the finished project, project. So again, so I'm launching this concept. It's called Fashion Behind the Curtain. And so what that's going to look like, it's going to be an immersive fashion event where I'm bringing the back of the house literally to the front of the house. So as, an, as a guest or audience member, you would pull back the curtain, go to this event, and you would see the models. You're getting the hair and makeup done. You would see the photographers doing their photography, doing their, their lookbooks. You would be able to talk with the actual designers, get to know them a bit, and then also have the opportunity if you wanted to buy some of the items from the designers. So it'd be you know an immersive event. There'd be cocktails, there'd be hors d'oeuvres, and so again, I want to bring the back of the house to the front of the house and create this really cool immersive event. The other thing I've been thinking about quite a bit is there's really no cohesiveness when it comes to to fashion events. So you have fashion events all throughout the country. Some quite large, obviously, like New York Fashion Week or LA Fashion Week, Phoenix Fashion Week. You have a buyer's market uh, at Magic in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. But again, there's no, you know, for designers, there's really no cohesive events. Like if you go to, let's say, Starbucks, you know, no matter what Starbucks you go to, they're, for the most part, you're going to get the, the same service and same coffee. But for a fashion designer, if you want to show your collection um, throughout the country, there is no cohesive event. And Richard Hallmark, who's on Project Runway, and it really has uh, been a great consultant for, for me and has shown his collection at Santa Fe Fashion, I think four or five years. Um, I had talked to him about our event and what he feels is a benefit to participating in fashion events. And he's like, Steve, you know, Santa Fe Fashion is a great event because it's a, a show and sell event for designers. So designers get to show their collection. It's a turnkey event. We supply the models and the hair, and makeup, and, and the photography. But at the end of the day, he, you know, he wants to sell his collection directly to to the consumer. And so what Fashion Behind a Curtain will be is, again, an immersive event, but also an opportunity for designers to, to connect with their consumers and have a consistent place and a cohesive place where they could show throughout the country. So I'm going to put a link to the website below, Fashion Behind a Curtain. And if you look at the website, you're going to see where uh, which locations we're looking to host these different fashion events. So I want to really document this this journey. And if you're interested in fashion, I'm going to show what it takes to produce a fashion event in several different cities. It's the first time for me. Like I said, I started off small doing things in, in local bars. Now I've produced Fashion Week for the, for the last eight years. And now I'm, I'm looking forward to taking maybe that skill set to different cities. And so if you have any questions or any thoughts, please comment below. And again, thank you for all of our subscribers. And uh, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.